This is the funeral of Anit Nasasra, a 23-year-old lady who died on Sunday while giving birth in Sango Bay Camp in Rakai District. But as the burial ceremony went on, there were fears among camp residents that Nasasra's remains may not last even a night in the grave. There are claims that cannibals in the neighboring villages could strike and spit off Nasasra's body for a meal. It's said the cannibals have dug up a number of graves here and exhumed the bodies. Camp residents claim that eight of their beloved ones who were buried have been eaten by cannibals. It is also said scores of the living have disappeared under mysterious circumstances from villages neighboring Sango Bay Camp. There are fears that the cannibals could have killed and eaten them. But police say they have not received such reports and therefore have not launched investigations. We have not got any report from these refugees concerning uh, exhuming or eating their, their bodies within, within the base. Southern Region Police spokesman Ibn Senkumbi said they will begin the investigations with agents. We, we are going to uh, begin investigating the disappearances and the, maybe the, the disappearance of the body. Rakai is infamous for acts of cannibalism. Two years ago, NTV did a series of special reports on a man known as Deus Bendehihi, who claims to have lost his wife and child to cannibals in the area. 